Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and try these out, see how they do on the charger. Like usual, when the voltage is low, I start out with the lowest possible charging current this charger can offer. And this charger automatically would will um, adjust the input current as needed. And there's yet another spot well that needed to be taken care of. That way these get a good connection with whatever I put these in. Whether it be my flashlights or my cameras. Now my flashlights, the um, the positive terminal is a spring, so you don't have to worry. Don't really have to worry too much about these tearing up anything. As you see, the charger is reporting that they are low. Starting at 200 milliamps. And once they get up to a higher voltage, I'll increase the charge current up to a higher amount. It's like it's staying right there at 200 milliamps. Now it's increasing a little bit for some of them. And you can see the voltage is climbing already. Anytime the um, the voltage is low, you always want to try to be easy on the cells. And again, once they get up to about, let's say 3.2 or so, um, I'll go ahead and switch over to 1,000 milliamp charge and monitor them for make sure they don't get too hot. Yeah, it's perfectly normal, normal for a lithium ion cell to get lukewarm when charging, but if it gets hot, that's a, that's a sign of a problem. It's definitely not normal for lithium ion cells to be hot while being charged. So if you happen to harvest cells from a laptop or a cordless tool or whatever, and you go to charge those cells, or it's anytime you charge a lithium ion cell and it gets hot, you, know, you definitely want to re reject that cell. Yeah, even if the capacity of the cell is doing very good, if it's getting hot, yeah, I would still, I would still discard it, just to be safe. And that is recycling it. So we'll see how these um, recover. See if there's any bad ones or not. Go ahead and charge these at one amp. Because they're sitting at right around three volts now. Okay, everybody, they just finished charging up, and you won't believe how much it put in them. And they stayed cool to the touch the entire time. Now, remember, this is um, since I've been charging at 1,000 milliamps from right around 3 volts. They're sitting at 4.18 volts. Look at this. 2341. 
2339 and 2446 wow they're rated for 2200 so now here's the here's the big thing we put that much in them charging but let's go ahead and run them through a discharge cycle also at one app and let's see it's going to flash whoops discharge discharge them at one app and we'll see how they do Okay, these four batteries just finished, and there are the results. One of them was a little over 2200, and most of them are, um, let's see, not too far from 2200. All of them did exceed 2100, so that's not too bad considering they're almost six year old batteries. Um, and I'd say it's a pretty good, pretty decent um, turnout there. Okay, everybody. Um here it is mid-March, I'm trying to get caught up on videos for Cubic Creator Channel. Um, this actual footage was shot back in late January or early February this year, 2017, and I cannot seem to find the footage of me testing the remaining two cells. The remaining two cells did pretty much identical to the first four. They um, charged right up to 2200 hours just fine, and all six of these cells I've been using for about the past, you know, since I since I extracted them, and they have done very well in my cameras. I've been using them to power my PlayTouch, which I modified to take these cells, and my second ZI6 camera that I use in my weather case for thunderstorm footage and other weather videos and things like that. Um, I get roughly, well, I'd say five hours, but actually the limiting factor on the videos is the memory card. Um, I need to order some 32 gig cards for those cameras so I can maximize the record time and that'd be very interesting to see how long they record for because the batteries still have I've been noticing the batteries coming out of the cameras after the car fills up has about I don't know 3.4 volts left in them so they still got they still got some charge left in them so yeah the this I would say this was a very successful cell harvest um, despite these being several years old they are actually doing very well so anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I know it's kind of boring. Yeah, these these um, extraction videos can get a little boring even for me to edit, but yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video from Q Computer Channel. Remember to like the video, subscribe to Q Computer Channel for more updates, and remember to tick the bell so that you actually get notified of these updates. Did you know that I am also on a second channel that's CubeCop MTDX. Over there you'll find videos of bicycling, weather, elevators, and all sorts of other neat and interesting stuff. Feel free to subscribe to that channel as well. And again, I thank you for your support and thanks for watching this video.